trust bitches, they'll fuck your niggas, they full of drama. Word advice to you young boys, your main nigga will fuck your mama from a small city. I done seen it up, been in tween it up, and I mean it dog, keep grand What's going on world? We back with oh, another episode of the Walking Review. I'm here with a female rapper from the Dallas area, Miss Taj. I wanna thank you for being a guest on the Walk Review today, man. No problem. Did these hoes been attention? And I do whatever to get it. I came for the money, the power, respect. I'm out here just chasing a check. Home, my mama and daddy to walk at their job, and I ever had to go back. Fam, I'm nothing like you ever heard. I remember First question I wanna go is what's your real name? Cause you have a lot of names that you've gone by in the past few months. You want my real name, like or like, like you talking about like my government? Like as far as government, if you government? wanna put it out there. I say Taja. Everybody knows that. My Twitter name used to be Taja Nicole. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. But everybody, it used to be TK, but I just shortened it to Taj. Okay, Taj. That's who I am. Okay, keeping it short. As far as you being a uh, rapper, a female rapper at that, I mean, I know this is a, a pro predominantly dominated by the males. So, where'd you find inspiration to even get into this type of industry? Oh, man. Don't laugh. Look for real, don't laugh. Because. I started rapping and wanted to start rapping when I was in the fourth grade, and it was because Little Romeo, I swear to God. Wow. <laughs> I had this little recorder thing, and I recorded over one of his songs that he had, mm. and like, since then I've just been like, I can do this shit, it's light work, but then I just, I took it serious in 2010, so. Wow. Nah, Off of Little Romeo, seriously. Off of seriously. Little Romeo, like, when I meet, that's gonna be my husband, so he don't even know it. But when I meet him, that's the first thing I'm telling him. When you meet Lil Rumble, you probably gonna be bigger than he was in his life <laughs> career. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So. But I mean, how would you define your style? Because I know from listening to your rap and from your songs, it's just like you come off as a woman that basically has been through the struggle, but at the same time knows how to get to the success and will get on your ass if it ever comes down to it. I don't know how I would define. Like, I just be me. I just talk about what I've been through. Like. There got there be songs I'll be talking about, you know, niggas that ain't shit, cause half y'all niggas ain't shit. Wow. And I'll be talking about the shit I be into, like shit that I done done, I done seen, like I done been around a lot of shit for a female. Like I hung around a lot of dudes growing up. So I done seen a lot. I just found it easier to be myself and talk about me. And niggas relate to it so much and the fact they see a female spit and shit like that, they be like, damn, that's a girl's name? Like, yeah, and then the females, you know, it's a lot more of us. Like, people don't really think that a lot of females, like me, but the females be there. They be in the in the scene. They see shit. Mm -hmm. So they be hitting, when I be hitting them bars, they be hitting right along with me. They be like, yeah. Hey, I know probably ever since you just started dropping music, you probably had a large, basically, number of female followers along with you. I didn't think I did. I didn't. I honestly thought it was mainly niggas, but I really get so much love from females. Like, and I wouldn't think that I would just because of shit that I be talking about. Mm -hmm. But they be feeling that um, shit. What are some rappers that you grew up listening to other than Little Romeo? Because as far as when I talk about what female rappers that actually did something, you think about the Brad, Trina, even. One of the females? Yeah, as far as female rappers. Females, I would say growing up, my favorite would be Eve. Okay. Like, that, when she was in her Love is Blind stage, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, I remember. You can relate to her. She And she's hard, and her image is like. It wasn't like you see a Nikki. Like she was mm. hard with it. She's hardcore. She had a problem being a little tomboy. She had her haircut. So and she was fine with it. Fine with it, and she it makes you. It makes me comfortable enough to be myself. Like she did that. I, he would probably be my first. Out of females, would be my like main influence. Like, like I ain't really too many y'all. I look. I ain't look up Nikki. She ain't even talking. About <laughs> Next question that I have for you. When did you actually find your niche into this? Like when you actually feel like I can actually do this and have success with it. Oh. I don't know, I've always felt like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when the times change, like, if you can't keep up with the new, like, you not, you may not got it. Mm -hmm. But I felt like recently when I found out, I was like, yeah, like, I got it. Like, I was listening to radio mm -hmm. with me, Fat Pimp, and Fred B. And I was, like, I wrote the song. Like, mm -hmm. that was the first time I ever pinned a song, like, R&B song to it. And I finally, you know, when you write a song, like, to the stages, it goes out from the first. Uh, I know a couple months ago, actually in the summer, that you participated in the Wave of Dallas. You were like so one of the only female rappers to actually participate in it. As far as how it went and everything, how do you feel like that kind of propelled your career as far as actually getting more exposure around the city of Dallas? 
It actually got me, it got me a little bit more exposure. It didn't give me as much exposure because I didn't put as much effort into the first, but it got me enough. Like, it, like, as far as, uh, internet stuff, it got me enough. Like, it took me to another level. Like, it got me enough. Like, it took me to another level. 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 Like, it took me to as far as being a female, one, it's not just being a female because in this day and age, you have a lot of people that don't respect females to the, their full abilities. But as far as being a female rapper, do you feel like you're respected by, as far as males or other female rappers that's out there? Uh, I would say yes, but there's some people that I've came across, and I don't know if it's just hating or they just, you know what I'm saying, being real. They just try to knock me just like, oh, you're not saying no tough shit, like... But I be saying some shit for a female. I won't. I hate saying for a female. But for a female, I be saying some off the wall shit. Like ain't no other females spitting like I'm spitting. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as females go, we don't really have no females to me here in Dallas that's doing anything. Mm -hmm. So they can't. I mean, if I don't see nobody, how they gonna give me my my problem? Right? It's just true. <laughs> it's just true. At the end of the day. And kind of steaming off of how you answered that question, you answered that question real like fierce and competitive. Like it's always a competition. It is though, but like we're kind of in the day and age of rap. It's kind of like sports. It's kind of like you gotta have the competitive edge. You gotta be okay. able to basically see your opponent in the eye and know I'm gonna kill you. you, know, you like, it's always the goal. It's always how they say when you get on a song with somebody, you make sure you got the best verse on that song. So if I'm getting on your song with you, you better come hard because I'm coming harder. Like at the end of the day, so it is a competition like i done took shots at a couple females that mm -hmm. was doing something when i first came out on the dallas scene i don't see them no more right <laughs> <laughs> you made them go in the high you made them go in my i, head I don't see them i don't care i don't see no competition i don't i don't understand, understand. do you feel that females actually other than Nicki minaj days love all those those are mainstream rappers but as far as women actually trying to come up in the rap game do you feel like they have the opportunity, basically the opportunities it, for themselves to actually make it on that stage, or do you have to make it really on their own and work ten times harder than the males do? Honestly, I think it's easier for us, but you have to have that originality. Like Dej Loaf, like when she came out, wasn't nobody sounding like her. Right. When Nicki came out at the time, there was nobody sounding like her. Mm -hmm. So we actually have an easier lane to to navigate through because it's like who who really out there as a female is doing anything. Besides those two people, like Dave Lil came out of nowhere with a song called I didn't even like the song when it came out, but I it grew on me. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like if you just come out with something that nobody's ever seen before, it's gonna be a lot more easier for people to gravitate to you. Right. And that's why I think I stick out so much because there's no other female talking that shit like I'm doing. You don't see no females talking that street shit. Dave Lil, but she doing it in like a a calm manner, mm -hmm. and she really ain't talking about it no more because her publicist people got her switching up her style. True. So, anybody make me switch a mustache. <laughs> hey, you're going to keep it original to the, to the G at all times. At huh? all times? I got to. If I wouldn't, I'd be fake. Say, at the end of the day, I don't care what they say. I don't fuck with these niggas. Since that shit happened to Clyde to the day that I die, I won't put trust in these niggas. Because that envy's a motherfucker. Put that shit on my blood, brother. Give a fuck if we blood cousins. You try to rob me and your blood gushing. I got love for these niggas that hate me. I swear that it's crazy amazing, my nigga. How they really be thinking that somehow this money could change me. Come on, dog, don't play me. See, I came from the block. And that hood shit, it made me. These niggas be talking and talk to they face with 240s, turn shocking and wearing an 80. I know that you really don't get in no money, my nigga. I know me a bitch that be moving them packs and you ask to get front in, my nigga. I think that it's funny, my nigga. You buying plays for your songs, dog. You not really buzzing, my nigga. You gon' fake it till you make it, huh? If you like it, I love it, my nigga. I'm going off that hand. I be talking that shit. Pull up to the party with somebody, nigga, and leave out with somebody, bitch. Cause that's how it is. Cause I got that juice. Nigga, I am the GOAT. Then right, I'm a gloat. Cause I am Alicia. When it come to the keys, I do not miss a note. I've been through hell of my life. I might fuck your friend out of spite. Go finesse me a nigga tonight. Then I do whatever I like. Roll up and take me a flight. Never let her spend a night. Man, I look too good for a fight. Man, I do whatever I like. 
We do this shit for him seeing them. Now underground king, rest in peace to him. We double cause fight when it's dirty. Every wonder that love tried to hurt me. Everything that I had it became yours. Niggas, I do anything for. Try to take me out just to get paid more. This is not what we got in the game for. These niggas, they jug backwards. Money turned dealers to drug addicts. Instagram turning these bitches to models. They booking it for.